Hey all you Monster Fanatics out there, this is Matt Vad of Mad Real, and today we're going to be talking about the latest installment of the Hotel Transylvania series, Hotel Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation. <laughs> Was that you? Ugh. Hotel Transylvania, Hotel Transylvania, where, where, where to start? It's been a long run since Hotel Transylvania came out. It was a sleeper hit, so no one really wanted to see it, but when it came out, it appealed very well to kids, and it made like $400 million, and now we're here. So it's getting the positives. As a fan of the franchise, I really, 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 really think that these movies are underappreciated. The animation in all these movies have progressively gone better with each installment, and this is because of the director, Gendy. Gendy's direction and animation with this third installment is clean, it is fast, it is wacky, and it's fun. It appeals to my love for Looney Tunes. True, it appeals to children, but I'm also having good slapstick fun while watching it. My second positive of this film is the characters. All the characters that you like are great in this movie, and the characters that you don't like are still characters you don't like. When you hear Adam Sandler's voicing Dracula, you're automatically like, oh my God. But he's not bad in these movies. Like, I think he's one of the stronger points. He's a best in who this character is. He's played him consistently throughout all three movies. His voice is a little weird at first, but it's something you get used to. His whole thing about having the dar and then having to let go and then and trying to find new things for his for him to do now that his daughter is having a life, it's human. I like Selena Gomez as Mavis. Her voice fits the character the most, and she's really good in the role. Great bonds between those two characters. We got this new villain, a villain established from the beginning of the movie, and thank God they did. I don't know why it took them three movies, but we have a solid villain. The villain versus hero in this movie is funny, it's charming, and it brings a smile to my face because it reminds me of those old cartoons. And you know, you got all the fun favorites. You got like, you got the drag pack returning, you got little Dennis returning from the second one, you got Blobby, you've got some new characters that joined the cast, and they're very fun. But the strongest character interactions and character roles are from Dracula and Mavis. The main positive of this movie is the themes. For a kid's movie, it tackles things that a kid would not normally understand. It's all about acceptance. Again, all these movies are about acceptance, love, family, bonds, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I like about these movies. They're, they're appealing to kids. They might be dumb in some aspects, but has good messages and good themes. And I, I, can't, I can't really talk shit about it for that reason. But the negatives? The negatives are still the negatives. Everything you don't like about Hotel Transylvania series, it's here. I'm talking about the cringeworthy humor. I'm talking about fart jokes. I'm talking about the fucking lame catchphrases. And I'm talking about the dance numbers, the dance numbers, and the dance numbers. We got the fucking jokes that don't work from the first, like Johnny and his stupid fucking backpack. I really hate that god damn character. Other negative of the movie is it's it's fairly predictable. I guess this movie in the first 10 minutes I saw it. For children, it's not it's not confusing, it's very simple to follow, and you don't have to get lost in it. I just wish they challenged kids' sensibilities just a little bit with these movies, but I guess I'm a grown ass man and I'm watching Hotel Transylvania, so whatever. Third thing, there are so many characters that don't need to be in these movies anymore. That's good, they focus on the strong points. Also, you have characters that it jumps to that it just, you're like, shouldn't this character be getting more of a, I don't know, something to him? If he's in the movie, he should at least be funny. It's an ensemble cast and everyone gets lost in it. It's just, a, it's just a problem. But in the end, this is the best in the series. It benefits for the continued progress of Gendy being involved. The day Gendy leaves is the day this series doesn't work. I give this uh, six stupid Dracula faces out of 10. Thank you guys for listening in to this review. Um, like and subscribe to the channel. Comment on the comments below and I mean, we think about Hotel Transylvania as a series and maybe Sony as the as an animation studio as a whole because there's a lot to talk about. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next Mad Real review and you guys have a, have a good time in the movies.